In this video, I am going to give you an example of integration by parts. In particular, the example is integral cosine inverse of x dx. As you already know, integration by parts formula is integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du. And I'm going to go ahead and do the substitution. My u is going to be cosine inverse of x and my dv is going to be dx. Now if I take the derivative of u with respect to x, so du over dx is going to be equal to derivative of cosine inverse of x with respect to x, right? Cosine inverse of x with respect to x and it is going to be negative 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. That gives me du is equal to negative 1 over square root of 1 minus x square dx. And similarly here, if we integrate both sides of dv is equal to dx, we get v is equal to x. Now our integral cosine inverse x dx, integral cosine inverse x dx is equal to, according to these substitutions, is going to be integral u dv, which is uv minus integral v du. And my u is cosine inverse of x, right? So cosine inverse of x is u, right? So it's going to be uh, cosine inverse of x and v is just x. So it's going to be x times cosine inverse of x minus integral v du. v is x times du is negative dx over square root of 1 minus x square. Please note that du is right here. Now I can simplify it further. It's going to be x cosine inverse of x and this negative times negative is going to be positive and is going to become integral x over 1 over square root of 1 minus x square dx. Now at this point I am going to go ahead and integrate just this part. Now I am going to go ahead and do the substitution again. So integral x over square root of 1 minus x square dx let's say my u is 1 minus x square then du over dx is equal to negative 2x and du over 2 times negative 1 is going to be x dx all right so then this integral i could do the following x dx is going to be negative du over 2 divided by square root of 1 minus x square. Remember, 1 minus x square is u, so it's going to be just u. Now, if I simplify it further, it's going to be negative integral, negative 1 over 2. Sorry, yeah, negative 1 over 2, um, u to the power negative 1 half du. I just did a little bit of simplification here. U, square root of u is in the denominator. Square root of u is u to the power 1 half. Then if I bring it up to the numerator, it's going to be negative. So now I'm just going to follow the rule of integration. So negative 1 half times is going to be u to the power negative 1 half plus 1 divided by negative 1 half plus 1. And that is going to give me negative one half times u to the power of one half which is nothing but square root of u divided by one half so this one half and one half is going to cancel that's going to give you negative square root of u that is the same as negative square root of one minus x squared because u is one minus x squared now at this point i just go ahead and take this value and plug it in here so i'm gonna go ahead and take this because this integral is nothing but this so i'm gonna just replace it here so i'm gonna have x cosine 
inverse of x minus square root of 1 minus x square plus some arbitrary constant c. So my integral becomes, okay, integral cosine inverse of x dx is equal to actually x cosine inverse of x minus square root of 1 minus x square plus some arbitrary constant c. I hope that this discussion was helpful. Thank you very much.